They say the truth ain't pretty, but coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitting. Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty. You know what I'm talking about, cause you just get me. Yeah. Hey girls, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having a good start to the week. It's currently Monday and I'm actually off to see. Can you guess? Try to guess what I'm heading today. I feel like it's just gonna be so obvious, but I'm going to see Barbie. It actually released on Friday, which I think was the 21st. And yeah, I'm gonna finally see it. I've been saying the promotions and the marketing for Barbie, it's like you have to see at this point. It's literally everywhere, but I'm honestly so excited for it. I feel like everyone's just gonna be all dressed up and I'm feeling very, very extra for a Monday evening. But I love that for me. I feel like one thing I've always said is I'd rather be dressed up, like too dressed up rather than be dressed down but I feel like everyone has their preference let me know what you are like would you rather go to an event and be like really extra or just go to an event and be the most casual but anyways I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs I've been trying my best to like push them out there I think I would have already posted my Marbella vlog before this so I hope you enjoyed the holiday content and yeah today let me tell you girls what I'm wearing today I'm wearing my usual go-to instant hijab and when I say instant if you guys have been around you already know but the instant hijab it means like the undercap is attached to the actual hijab bit and of course i'll link the brand down below they're called cerebi and they're just so convenient i just feel like ever since this has entered my life i haven't like stopped wearing it and yeah i feel like it's a good like Thing to have and saying that i feel like the true star of the show is probably going to be this dress and this dress has been on my wish list for a while it's called um it's by a brand called tala amamo i think is how you pronounce it i'll put the brand name up on screen but yeah i just love the like sleeves and it just feels so nice and modest it's a maxi dress and you just can't go wrong with like a maxi dress but yeah i just love it this was actually my first my Teresa order and i feel like a grown woman but yeah this is the outfit i didn't actually see Say, but I'm going to an event with Huda Beauty so it will be the screening for Barbie so I think it's going to be a little event beforehand before like the movie screening and then we're going to go in see the film and it's going to be a wholesome vibe so I'm going to tell you guys a little tea about like movie screenings and movie premieres because I've been to a couple in my time and it's so funny because a lot of people see like the red carpets or the blue carpets and they're like oh my god it's like a glamorous event but in reality it's just the carpet everyone's gonna take their gorgeous photos and then after the carpet we're all literally just gonna go to the cinema sit down eat our popcorn and that's literally it I feel like it seems more glamorous than it is but if you didn't know now you know and in saying that my outfit is literally so extra right now and I feel like it's still going to be very comfortable for when I actually watch the film but before we head off me and my sister Hafsa are going to go and take some photos I think we're just going to go downstairs get some pics and then we can like fully enjoy the event afterwards because I don't know about you girls but when I have like an event or like I'm going to a dinner or something like that and I want to get an outfit of my photo Sometimes I just like to do that beforehand so you're not like stressing at that event. But yeah, I hope you guys are well and let's get going with the day. <laughs> The next day we went and watched a Barbie movie last night and it was actually so so good personally I went into watching it with like no expectations because I feel like there was a lot of like mixed reviews going around I enjoyed it <laughs> I feel like it was very much a feel-good kind of film like if you're feeling low the perfect film to watch and there was quite a few moments that was actually really funny and I wasn't actually expecting to cry at that movie because I feel like the whole storyline and everything you can just relate to it on some aspect but yeah I really enjoyed it if you guys haven't seen the movie yet I would highly recommend but it's been a little while now so I'm pretty sure you guys would have seen it and I also know that there's another film out currently which is like the Oppenheim or something like that I literally have no idea what that film's about and if I should go watch it let me know like if you guys like that film what it's about all I know is that it released on the same day as Barbie and people were like which one should I go see and I was like I think I'm just gonna go see Barbie like I don't know what <laughs> the other film's about but yeah it was really good I think after that me and my friends just like went to a coffee shop 
caught up, had a little catch up, discussed the movie and yeah, today I actually have an event which I like got ready for. Also, have you guys noticed, I'm trying to keep the pink memo going, you know, you have to wear pink as much as possible. I've also been saying that I feel like ever since I've been seeing a lot of like Barbie ads, I've just been obsessed with the colour pink. Like I want pink in every single like thing. Like I even got the Barbie phone case, I think I went a bit too far with that, but... <laughs> I like the colour pink now. So as I was saying, I did my makeup for the day because I have an event this evening. But I wanted to share with you girls one product that I've really been loving. And it's this spray serum by Dalba. If you girls are like me and love a glow, both like a glowy skin, a glowy makeup kind of moment, then this is a product for you. You can use this before and after you apply makeup. I also applied it before I put on any makeup today. I'm going to insert some footage here of how my skin was looking like before. But I would say it was pretty like dehydrated, a little bit dull and then after a couple of sprays of this instantly it made my skin look a lot more hydrated glowy and I love like a glowy moment I feel like you can never go wrong with a glow so you can add this product to your skincare routine I feel like it's perfect for those days that you're not wearing any makeup your no makeup days but you still want like a healthy looking glow perfect like pre-gym spray just like a refresh and another plus is that it has white truffle in it which is really good as like a natural antioxidant for your skin so it has skincare benefits too I feel like you can't go wrong with this so this is how my makeup is looking right now I feel like with all the powders I applied and everything my skin is looking a little bit dull and I feel like we can liven that up so I wanted to show you girls in real time of like how my skin would look so this is the before so I'm just going to shake it up first so I can mix the formula together and I'm just going to apply a couple of sprays and it's just as easy as that and now I'm just going to wait for this to dry and I'll show you how my skin looks like after and just like that look how glowy my skin is now honestly that's probably taken like two seconds to dry probably not two seconds probably like 10 seconds, 10 seconds to dry and it's giving me such a nice and natural looking glow. I feel like you can't go wrong with this. And also I love that my skin doesn't feel like tacky or it doesn't feel like weighed down by the product. So I think this is a good product for summer as well. But yeah, this is how my skin looks. And I wanna say a quick thank you to Dalba for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys like the look of this spray, I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description box down below. So shop until your heart's content. And now since my makeup is all done for my event tonight, I'm just gonna put on my outfit and head off. So I'll speak to you soon. My baby, my Valentine, yeah. Can I hear the make my temperature decrease? If you leave me, I could die. I swear, you are like the oxygen I need to survive. I'll be honest. Your love ain't totally me. I am so obsessed. I want to chop your uncle. Be If you leave me, I could die. I swear, you are like the oxygen I need to survive. I'll be honest. Your love ain't totally me. I am so obsessed. I want to chop your body. Hey girls, so it's currently Tuesday now and I'm feeling very hot because honestly the whole of this morning I've been on my Zoom. And when I say I've been on my Zoom, it's like I've been filming so much. I feel so productive right now. So it's around 3 p.m. right now and I'm off to get coffee with my sister Hafsa. I'm all dressed up and I'm wearing my white distress. You guys probably would have seen this if you watched my birthday vlog because it's the same dress. And it's honestly such a gorgeous dress. I just love it. If you guys can't tell, lately I've just been loving my maxi dresses. Like I've fallen back in love with maxi dresses. I think for a while I was preferring like maxi skirts and like trousers to dresses but now dresses are just so convenient full outfit ready to go like you don't really have to think of a whole outfit but yeah love it and I decided to wear it with my Charles and Charles and Keith tote bag I haven't worn her out yet but she's just so spacious I love that I named her a she like anything that I own it's a woman 
she's a she. Um, but yeah, she's just so spacious. I think it's perfect for those days where you have like a lot to pack. If you have like a laptop or something like that, you can just chuck her in there. Water bottles and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually not taking a laptop or a water bottle with me today, but I am taking a couple of lip glosses. But do you girls know that trend where it's like, um, what's actually in my bag when you offer to pay and it's like a couple of lip glosses and a lip liner back to me there's literally nothing in my bag don't be fooled by the big bag that i have so that's the plan for today hopefully we can get some cute content and a cup of coffee but yeah let's head off now We're kind of lost right now so we're just like walking around the the cafe closes in like 10 minutes so hopefully you get there before it actually closes so we went to the cafe and just as i predicted as soon as you went there there was like 10 minutes before they closed so we just got a chai latte and we've been walking around how have you been hafsa good babe how have you been enjoying yourself babe yeah. So I feel like we've got our content now. Now we're just heading over to Attis to have some lunch. Girls, can you believe it's currently like 7, 6, 6 or 7 p.m. and we still haven't had any like lunch? It's bad, it's horrible. Nichols because three people had a pop-up today and I feel like they're gonna be here for a couple of days and they kindly invited me to come and check it out so I just came in today and I had a look at all the things they had in its store and I picked out these trousers I'm just about to show you girls so this is how the trousers looks like they're also 100% linen and I've been trying to find a lot more like 100% cotton 100% linen trousers for the summer especially because they're a lot more breathable than all the polyester ones and I feel like they sit really nicely I got this in a size 12 just for a bit more of like an oversized vibe I also got the same trousers but in like if you girls can see in more of a beige nude colour which I'm also going to try on and I got this top as well but I'm not sure if I am 100% vibing with it but yeah that's the current vibe today also when I was walking past to come to this changing room I saw a couple of dresses and I'm like do I get it? Do I? Do I have a look? And you guys already know my current obsession with like maxi dresses. So maybe, depending on how I'm feeling after trying on the other trousers and stuff, I might, I might have brows. We shall see. So this is how the cream linen trousers looks like. This is also in a size 12, but I feel like it's just way too big for me. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go a size down for this. But honestly, it just feels so nice and breathable. I think this is like the perfect basic trousers to have when it's like a bit warmer, the days are a bit warmer, you know? But also in saying that I feel like autumn has already started in London, like what is this weather? It was literally raining this morning when I was on my way here, so, you know. But yeah, I feel like this will do, it's cute, nice basic. I think I'll just go a size up, or maybe two sizes, because currently it's too oversized and it's like that much that I would like it taken in. So yeah, I'll just ask for another size smaller and hopefully that's perfect. Okay, so this is the last thing I'm trying on and I'm on the fence about it. It's a long oversized top. I feel like they meant for it to be a dress, but I feel like it works as like a modest top as well because it's like literally coming down to my knees. But I don't know how I feel about it. Like I like the fact that it's oversized and it feels so nice, really modest. Even with this outfit right now, I feel like it goes, but it's either one of the trousers and this, or both of the trousers. What do you think I'm gonna get more wear out of? I don't know, I kinda like this. I feel like this is one of those ones where I do an Instagram poll and I ask you girls, and hopefully you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, cause I like it. Let me know what you girls prefer in the comments. Like, do you prefer this top, or like one of those, or both of those? Let me know, cause we'll see what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call my sister and I'm gonna ask what she thinks. So it's a couple of hours later now. Me and House are all ready. Um, we're actually going to see what we're going to see. 
Um, I have no idea, babe. We're going to see a film. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the Gran Turismo or something yeah. like that. So we got invited to a screening in the O2 and each other. We're going to go see that. But I thought I would just show you girls what I ended up with. If you guys can get any, have any guesses, cast any guesses. Nice. Nice. I would ask you to guess how so, but you already know. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting two of the linen trousers, one of them in cream and one of them in black. Because I feel like I would just wear them a lot more in comparison to the top. I feel like it was a bit too oversized. And then after I got those trousers, you guys would have already seen. But I got to taste this new dessert at Harvey Nichols, which was pretty much like cookie dough covered in... Well, ice cream covered in cookie dough, which was actually really nice. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, especially because I'm not a big fan of like mochi or mochi or however it is that you pronounce it. But that actually really surprised me. So if you guys are ever in the area, I would highly recommend. Apparently they sell it at Whole Foods as well, so... It's pretty much everywhere. But we have to head off right now. I'm pretty much wearing the same outfit I wore this morning, which is my Zara blazer, my Because of Alice um, white bodysuit, and just MS trousers as well. And we need to head off right now, and it's also still raining since this morning. It's not the vibe, but at least we're going to the cinema. It's going to be like cozy vibes, hopefully. But I'll take you guys along with me. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. Hope you smile when you listen. Ain't no competition, just competing for attention in your life. I'm not on no games, well baby I've been peeping and you ain't been the same life Who been on your mind, who got your time?